Well, Simon, here we are at last on the eve of the new season. How are you feeling ahead of the weekend? Looking forward to it. You know, we want to get going now. I think um, watching all the uh, Football League start two weeks ago, the Premier League, and then obviously we're, we're the last ones to get going. We just, um, we're just excited, we're energised by it, and we're, we're looking forward to the challenge ahead. We had seven games over the course of pre-season against quite a wide range of different opposition from lower league teams to academy teams, a Burnley side full of international players. What have you been able to take from that? Do you feel ready going into the new season? Yeah, I think, um, as I mentioned in a few of my interviews, you're, you're looking to build them fitness levels. Um, you're looking to you know, install some principles that are going to be really, really important for you and the team and the lads over the course of the season. And just get everyone, you know, physically ready. That's the priority. Um, and we've done that. So the games have offered a different type of test. Um, but I think relative tests to the division that, that we play in, you know, some games will be robust and will be a set-piece threat. You know, I think of the Geisley game, some physicality and height in that. Uh, and some teams, of course, will, will be quite expansive in how they try and win games, which is, you know, it lend itself to, to some of the opposition, perhaps the Brighton game, the Burnley game. You know, in particular. So uh, yeah, I think we've had an eclectic mix of games. We've um, we've uh, we've enjoyed we've enjoyed our work. We've enjoyed what we've done. But yeah, we're absolutely ready to get going now. It's something we spoke about quite a few times last season. But you came into the club during such a busy period. That's a game every couple of days. Uh, how important has it been for you to have your own pre-season with the players this summer? Do you feel like you've been able to put your own stamp on things now? Yeah, I think so. It felt like a game every couple of hours sometimes. <laughs> um, but yeah, look, I think um, I don't make too much uh, about pre-season because it's certainly not a case of you know we've done a lot of good work and the one thing about the uh, the volume of games that we had you know was was that the benefit to that was you know although I wasn't getting to put my work into the players perhaps as much on the training pitch um, I was certainly getting to put my scheme of work into the players within the games um, so so there is an upside to that and again we've not um, a, a lot of the things in my, my 28 games last season you know we want to hold on to this year you know, the players delivered on really, really well. And, um, you know, the 18-game the, the unbeaten run, of course. Um, but a lot of the quality of play within that and the resolute, you know, structure that we had. So, you know, I don't think we need to rip up what we were doing. Of course, like every other manager in a division, you'd be looking to improve on what, what work you had last year. But, um, you know, there was an awful lot of good, an awful lot of good. And, and certainly we want to hold on that and, and build on that. I think for a number of different reasons last season, we did end the season with quite a, quite a large squad of players. That's now been streamlined over the summer. <coughs> Are you happy with the size of your squad now? Um, I think we can we can still look to you know add in one or two areas perhaps, but I'm certainly happy with what I've got in the building at the moment, and I'm I'm full of confidence in the players and trust in what we have going into the the first game. So I think we'll be. Um, we're, we'd be one of a few clubs that, of course, are always looking to grow and get get better in any which way we can. But most importantly is, you know, you've got to show faith for the players that are in the building as well and, you know, make sure that you're doing your job by them, standing by them, giving them the best chance of performing to the best possible level that they can. Um, and, and that's never, never my, not my priority. Um, so, yeah, look, happy with, a, happy with the squad, happy with the work we've done over the summer. But, um, you know, like... As is normal, we'll always be, you know, have half an eye on ways in which we can push ourselves as far, far as we can. You've also got a new member on your coaching team as well, someone you know quite well from your time at Brighton, Mark Beard. How pleased are you to have him on board? Yeah, really good to have Mark in. Um, you know, great playing background, you know, pedigree, play, you know, played at a good level. You know, he's, um, he understands the divisions, he understands the differences, um, and, and he's also got a really, really strong back. Um, you know, history in developing players as well. So, you know, I think it, the boys have took to him really well. Um, really good addition for us as a football club. And um, and I'm sure some of the work he's been doing with the guys on the grass will, will show in the games. I think one of the big plus points of last season, towards, certainly towards the end of the season, seemed to be the, the togetherness of the squad. I mean, we've had a few new additions over the summer. How have they integrated into that surroundings? Brilliantly. Um, you're, you're right to point out that I think we had a real togetherness last year. And again, um, you know, every, every, every quality team needs that. And if you're going to achieve things, you have to, you have, to have that about you. So, um, uh, and sometimes that has to be worked out and sometimes it doesn't have to be worked out. And I think uh, the luxury for me as a manager is I've got a great dressing room. You know, some really good characters who care. They really care about what we're doing. You know, they they want to 
they want to be the best version of themselves and part of that is being respectful with the group to each other because um, there's that competition you know there's there's places up for grabs that's what we are you know there's always going to be that and um, but what they did show last year was you know real respect for each other real togetherness and, and it got us over the line in some of them games you know a lot of them games where you got to dig in and you have to and that that togetherness is is what you need to rely on at sometimes, and I, I see no reason why that would be any different this season. Have you spoken much with the players yet about targets for the new season, or are you just taking it a game at a time again? Yeah, we of course, you know, we we don't stick our head in the sands about what we want to achieve and what we want to do. Um, it's not something we need to shout from the rooftops. We, we know as a group what we've got to do. You know, we're not we're not daft. Um, but you know, within that, there is a breakdown of things that we we'll try and be brilliant at and um, some of them will be target based so yes we've had them discussions and um, we're very much on the same page and we know what we've got to do and some of that is is around obvious targets but obviously some some uh, some targets which you know we, we would always keep in house and keep to ourselves as a group about what we want to be brilliant at when you look back to the Hartlepool game last season I think in your post certainly in your post-match interview we could all see how much that hurt you personally but in a way does that help motivate you this season to go a step further? Possibly, but um, you know, the, you're, you're right, that was a really painful day, um, not just for me, for everyone, everyone connected with the club. Um, and, and you know, I'm in the privileged position that you know, I'm, I'm someone that gets the opportunity to, to lift the players, reset where we were once we had a bit of a rest over the summer, and, and that's a privilege. It's, as a manager or a head coach at a club like like this, um, you know it's a privilege to it's a privilege to to show people how much you're genuinely hurting, but it's also a privilege to you know shake yourself down and, and lift the players and go again. And um, and yeah, we are. I think it would be crazy for me to say that 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 day isn't going to be you know one part of of my motivation personally. Of course it is. Um, but you also have to shake yourself down and move on from it. And um, it's a fresh season, it's a new start. And um, yeah, we will be using that as one of our motivating factors. But, you know, we've also got to use the past healthily, but also, you know, prioritise the future. And, and that's what we're doing. Just looking ahead to this weekend's opponents, Dagenham obviously finished last season really strongly, won seven of the last 10 games. So they came to Edgeley Park and got a draw. Uh, they've kept the majority of the squad together mm -hmm. as well over the summer, not too many additions. Are you expecting them to be more of a threat at the top end of the table this season? Yeah, good team. I think they uh, they probably underachieved in the first half of last season. I think that's um, that's not a disrespectful thing to say. Um, so the the fixture we had them at um, Edgeley last year was a really tricky one. It was a difficult one. Um, and I'm expecting the same again. You know, we, uh, we're under no illusions. And I think it's like most games we have. They, they all pose a real... You know, stern test. So I think um, you know I wouldn't want to speak on on where I think they should or shouldn't be this year. But what I do know is we've got a tough game on our hands. Just finally, Simon. No, finally on Saturday, no restrictions at Edgeley Park. Big crowd atten uh, attending. Do you have a message for the fans ahead of the new season? Yeah, I think um, firstly, I, I genuinely believe. You know, I'm going to say I'm going to say this, but I think um, I think we've got the best fans in the division. You know, I, I believe that and I know everyone else is going to contest that. But, you know, how I've been welcomed and supported, you know, even without people being in the stadium to do that. Um, and, you know, we're desperate. We're desperate as a group to to give the fans something to absolutely get behind. And we're going to need them. You know, we're going to need them. It's as, as they'll know as well as me, you know, that the season comes with ups and downs. Um, but I'm desperate to, to make our home stadium a fortress. And uh, I've heard so many amazing things about the away support here. Uh, I'm looking forward to experiencing that. And I just want the, the fans to be rest assured that we're going to give absolutely everything this year to, to achieve um, our, our ambitions and, and hopefully fulfil theirs. So, um, you know, we're, we're going to do everything we can and we're going to need them along the way. And I just encourage them to, you know, get right behind the lads, you know, be, be as loud as they can. Uh, and we're going to need them. So, and I'm looking forward to experiencing that. Well, you're definitely right about having the best fans. Simon, thanks for your time. Thanks you. Cheers.